Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making It From Midwest, and this is going to be a pretty big drugstore haul. This is the time of year when brands are coming out with their spring and summer collections, so naturally I find myself in drugstores more frequently than I would other times of the year because I want to get my hands on them first so I can review and swatch and recommend to all of you. But while I'm there, most of the time I take advantage of some of the normal drugstore deals that go on, like the buy one get one half off and um, take extra bucks at CVS and stuff like that. So the, all those things have kind of converged to this point where I just bought a lot of stuff from the drugstore and so I'm gonna haul it for you right now. But I also wanted to make this video relatively quickly because there are some deals that might expire this week and so in order to give you my recommendations, my thoughts, give you some ideas as to what I bought, I'm trying to get this up right now. So let's get to it. So this haul is really more of a collective haul. It's things that I've gotten over the past few weeks but that I wanted to make you aware of because there are already reviews and swatches up on the blog and because they're limited edition items I want to make sure you're aware of them. That way in case you are looking for them you know whether to spend your time and money on them or, you know, just let them be because they're not for you. So first things first, I picked up the, or three of the limited edition Maybelline color tattoos. They are Seashore Frost, which you can't really see here. I'll flash some swatches up because I already have review and swatches of these up. This is Waves of White and Cool Crush. Now of the three of these, I would really recommend Waves of White and Seashore Frost above all of them. Um, and that's because they're just so interesting and unique for any product, not just from products from the drugstore. Seashore Frost is a beautiful duochrome with like gold and denim. It's very hard to describe. And then Seashore Frost looks like it is plain old like opalescent white in the pot. And then you swatch it and it's this beautiful iridescent purple. Just Oh, so, so those are the two that I would recommend, but I do have swatches and reviews of all three. And Cool uh, cool Crush is nice, it just isn't as kind of interesting or complex as these two. So that is what I would recommend from those. Again though, a complete list of products that I mention in this video will be in the info section below. And if I have them, links to supplementary information like reviews, swatches, tutorials, pictures, anything like that will be down there as well. Next products are the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. Again, I got three of these. There are four total in the limited edition collection that came out in the Miss Candy collection. This one is Strawberry Blonde, which, um, especially in this collection, I, me explaining this won't do justice to what they actually are. So again, I'll flash some swatches up here for you. But Strawberry Blonde is an iridescent pink that has like this complex shimmer iridescence to it. With a twist is a bright purple that has a blue shift to it. And then Sherry Mary is a gorgeous kind of bold coral color that can be applied relative, not sheer isn't the word, but downplayed, you know, with one, one kind of thin layer and then really built up into this bright coral you see here in the pot. It's just so beautiful. And as with all the L'Oreal infallible shades, they are super creamy and rich and just have fabulous color payoff. So those are the three that I picked up from this candy collection. Check down below for a link. Last week Rimmel was having some, or a buy one get one at Walgreens and so I had picked up these two scandalized eyeshadow sticks. Interestingly enough, the first two that I tried from this line, I did not, I wasn't super fond of. They were okay, but they're nothing I would write home about. These are incredible and I highly recommend you picking them up given the price tag. These are, uh, or this is Paranoid Purple and Blamed Blue that you can see more detailed pictures of on the blog, but they're just so beautiful, rich, opaque, creamy. They truly are. Uh, eyeshadow pencils, whereas the others I just didn't feel like were much more than primers, if even that, because they weren't very opaque or all that creamy. But these are wonderful, and so I also picked up this shade in Gossip Green, which is this, you can kind of already see it on my hand right here. It's the shimmery, well, it's kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a pearlescent muted olive green, kind of. Uh, it's beautiful though, and it is just as creamy as these, so I'm hoping it has the same kind of payoff and richness um, that these other two do. Also from Rimmel, I picked up a Scandalize Waterproof Cole Kajal Eyeliner in the shade Nude. Now I have used, I have a few chubby, like thick eyeshadow pencils that are that kind of notorious shade that everyone has, that champagne shimmery or satin champagne shade, but it's not a true matte or suede kind of finished nude that really can open up your lower lid without being as harsh as a 
stark white or even a stark shimmery white so I went ahead and got this and I'm so far really impressed you probably can't see that from there but hopefully I'll do some close-ups for you I'm really impressed with how creamy it is and how much it stays for being a coal eyeliner it was surprisingly it, it adhered surprisingly well to my waterline the one time I wore it this week so I'm excited to do maybe like a pinup tutorial or I don't know maybe talk about the many uses of one of these eye pencils so excited to use that Another thing that I'm very excited to review and compare is this Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer. And I picked this up because it looks a lot like, let me pull it out, like Laura Geller's Baked Body Frosting in Tahitian Glow. And obviously this is huge, but um, the, just the, the size and shape and even the pattern, the marbleized kind of pattern in them looks so familiar. I used this all last summer to give my legs and arms a nice temporary but healthy and natural looking glow. This this is great for, unlike lotions and stuff that give you a more, not permanent, but longer lasting nat or faux glow. This is a powder that you can use to kind of either contour or just put all over your arms and legs to give it a really mm, satiny bronze to it. And so it looks very similar to this. The only difference is this was $8, I believe, and I think this can get as high as $25 or maybe even 30. I don't know. Granted, you do get a lot more product, but as you can see, I've had this for a year and haven't made a dent in it. So if you can get something smaller that you might have a prayer of using up before it expires, I hope to be able to recommend this to you instead. So we'll see on that. So this is the last product before I get to the big physician's formula chunk that I'm about to talk about, and it is the Maybelline Color Show Formula Nail Polish in the shade. What is the shade? Oh, Pacific Blues. And this st stuck out to me because it reminded me so much of Julie G's Shark Shark's Cove, I think it was, a shade that I did not pick up when I was at IMATS and really, really wanted to. So I ended up getting it. And despite my latest infatuation with gel nail polish, I recently did a little experiment on my own nails. This is Butter London's uh, Bobby Dazzler from their spring collection and I wanted to try using a normal nail polish with the gel set so instead of using like a, a colored polish that is from a gel line use normal polish and it works just as well so for a while I was deterred from buying regular normal nail polishes but this little experiment has me like just ready to experiment with more regular nail polish colors so this is what I got and that's why I got it. So this is where the bulk of the shopping comes in for today, and that is because for at least this week that I know of, CVS is having a mad deal on Physicians Formula products, and that is where you get $6 off of the entire brand. And Physicians, to me, Physi Physicians Formula is one of those brands that hits like the $12 to $15 mark. I consider them more high not high end, but higher priced. And so when a $6 deal like that comes around, it's pretty much 40 to 50% off all of the products there. But the more I got to looking around, the more I realized that there were some like $6.49 products and $7 products and $8 products, which just, it made it an irresistible deal. So I wanna go through all of that stuff that I got, as well as this eye booster pen, which was what I was really after. So if you've seen my latest, beauty graveyard video, you'll know that I finished up my Dolly Wink eyeliner, this guy right here, and I said that I was looking for a drugstore alternative, a more accessible alternative, and thought I would try the Jessie's Girl eyeliner, and a lot of you actually suggested this eye booster, two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner and serum pen from Physicians Formula, because it has a calligraphy tip, um, it's a calligraphy tip liner as well. I got this, I used it today, and have been wearing it all day, and I'm in love. I just can't, you guys are spot on with that recommendation because this is a fabulous pen liner. Um, so that's originally why I did this whole Physicians Formula thing. Then I got to looking more at the display and realized that there are a ton of great deals to be had. So let me just go through those really quickly. All right, so the first thing is this Gentle Cover Concealer Stick in the shade Light, and this was one of those items that was $6.49, and so when you took the $6 off when you used your extra, extra care card, this was a $0.49 cent concealer, and I couldn't pass this up. Another deal that I'm pretty proud of is this Matte Collection Quad Eyeshadow that Emily, Emily Noel raves about all the time, and it was 
was originally $7.79 and so it came down to $1.79. I'm super excited to give this a go because um, one, Emily Noel raves about it, you gotta give it a go. But also it looks very similar to the shadows in the Naked Basics palette and so something I have yet to get and so it'll be nice to have those shades lying around here. Both of these concealer palettes, one is the Concealer 101 for correcting dark under eye circles and the other is the uh, green, perfect concealer duo with the green. So one has the yellow and one has the green. Both of these were $8.29 and so after savings they ended up being $2.29 a piece. I have a concealer problem. Here is the last concealer and it's the Twin Concealer 2-in-1 Correct and Cover Cream Concealer. The yellow corrects under eye circles in the light, covers yellow and minor skin imperfections, and this ended up being... 229 as well, so the same as those other two concealers. I just got a lot of concealers is, is the conclusion I've come to, but um, in all fairness, both me and my mom are constantly looking for good concealers, so anything that I find doesn't work for me or that I think might work better for her will probably end up getting passed along to her, so the deal will not be lost on anyone. The most expensive thing I got is a newer product, and it's their Super BB All-in-One Beauty Balm Concealer. Uh, yet again another concealer. I don't know what's the matter with me. I've been wanting to try this new BB line for ages. They have the the BB cream, then they have this guy, and then they also have a BB cream compact, like powder compact, and so this is just the one that I was feeling because I'm not really a BB cream person per se, especially from the drugstore because I just feel like they're repackaged tinted moisturizers. Call me skeptical, but it's just I'd, I'd much rather spend the money on a concealer with all-in-one BB benefits or whatever than a foundation that I think might be a tinted moisturizer. So then the last things I got from CVS, not from Physicians Formula, are two nail polishes. Again, as I explained with my Maybelline nail polish, I'm back into regular nail polishes and these are from L'Oreal, which was buy one get one half off and then I had a $3 coupon as well. So it was actually buy one get one free when it came down to it. And this is Royalty Reinvented, which is a beautiful lilac. Again, if you'll recall from my empties video, I threw out a lilac, and so I thought I might as well go ahead and replace it with something that is slightly darker, is less pastel, but still a lovely lilac nonetheless. And then this is New Money, which is a beautiful lime green. All in all, I would say these are lovely colors for summer, and I'm very excited to give these a go with the gel manicure business. So I think that is everything I got. I finally got through it all. If you lasted with me, thank you so so much for watching and I hope this kind of helped you scope out the deals for Physicians Formula as well as help you know what else is out there for new limited edition collections from the other brands but mostly because I'm not sure how long the Physicians Formula deal is going to be going on for. I wanted to give you a heads up on that, let you know what I got and also let you know that those, the reason I got the products I did was because those were on the lower end of the, um, the price range spectrum I guess and so they ended up being the cheapest of everything else, but there are a ton of great deals to be had where you can still save 40-50% off of the, the great blush and things like that that Physicians Formula is really known for, those shimmer strip eye things and stuff like that, and so those deals are still to be had, but these are just like the best ones I could find that I wanted to share with you. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and please in the comment section let me know what you've been hauling lately. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!